One of the really interesting things that we um, love to do here at Micron is to find, partner with, and invest in really bold startups. So these startups are defining the future. They are thinking about innovative ideas uh, that are going to ultimately fuel this whole revolution that we have spent several hours talking about uh, on stage. And we are looking for true innovators, people who think in a nonlinear way, people who are actually going to go out on a limb and break things and do really innovative work. And it is an honor to be partnering with these companies and working with them side by side specifically in areas where we can unlock the bottlenecks in the processor, memory, and storage subsystems. These are important areas for us, and these are important areas that drive our innovation roadmap in memory and storage. We really wanted to showcase just a couple of those companies that we have invested in recently and introduce you to some of these uh, very promising and fascinating companies. Our Micron Ventures initiative is focused around a few important innovation areas. One is the US, of course, Israel. We have uh, a few areas of Europe, uh, including Germany, where we are very focused, and of course, uh, China and India in Asia. And in terms of segments or sectors of the market, we spend a lot of time, not exclusively so, but uh, a lot of our time in transportation, especially the next generation of transportation technologies, industrial IoT, and healthcare. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about each of these segments. So transportation is a segment that's going to go through more change in the next 10 years than in the last 30 or 40 years combined. There is a lot coming at this sector from the electrification of cars. Uh, that's a pretty significant trend uh, started by Tesla, and now more and more companies, of course, are picking up on it. And then, of course, the level one, level two, level three, and ultimately level four and five type of automation. And the promise of that automation is very clear because 1.2 million lives globally are lost in traffic accidents. And in the US alone, about 36,000 lives a year are lost. And we have had, over the last three years, a decreasing trend of loss of life on US roads, largely attributed uh, to the increase of use of technology in cars that are focused on safety systems. And that trend is going to continue over time. And if you look at the amount of memory and storage that an average car has today, only about $25 to $30 of memory and storage content, it is going to go up substantially from there as cars get more and more automated in a lot of their safety features. And of course, as we get, get to level four, level five levels of automation over the years, that will be a tremendous jump from current levels. Now to talk a little bit about industrial IoT, Sanjay spoke earlier about how Micron is using some of these machine learning technologies to really make our own fabs far more efficient. And when you use that efficiency improvement over a scale of like six million wafers a year, you get tremendous, tremendous benefits. And the industrial IoT segment is very diverse and very big. I mean, the manufacturing economy itself is a multi-trillion dollar economy. And to be able to improve some of the manufacturing efficiencies there cre creates just enormous amount of value. So there are several startups that are focused on the industrial IoT, and we love partnering with them, working with them on ideas that will really take shape and um, improve defectivity in manufacturing, improve efficiency in manufacturing, and and make things a lot more efficient. In terms of healthcare, you just heard from Bambi and the wonderful panel that we just had. 
Uh, this is a, a, a challenge that affects every one of us in one way or the other. Healthcare is important to all of us. And certainly, we have tremendous amount of data that could be harnessed from the genome, from the microbiome. And when you combine all of that data with demographic data, family histories of, of disease, and use them in large databases and run some, um, even today's basic level of machine learning algorithms, so many diseases and so many cures can be found. And I like to say that a lot of these cures are just hiding in plain sight. And we really need to do more as an industry to be able to give doctors and those medical establishments who are on the forefront of adopting technology the tools to be able to know where to look for these clues and to be able to find them efficiently, to be able to, be able to find them quickly, uh, because time is obviously a very, very critical factor when it gets to healthcare. So we really... Um, very honored to be working with uh, some of these startups who are going to be leaders of tomorrow, and I wanted to showcase just a couple of them. Uh, Samba Nova is a company that is um, one of the companies we have invested in in the AI space. Uh, it is focused on driving the next generation of um, AI and machine learning platform. It has made the bold claim that a fraction of their uh, chip is more powerful and has higher performance than your entire GPU today. And we love companies that make bold claims. They are following up on it. Um, we'll have Arvind on stage from Sampanova right after me to talk more about the progress um, that company has been making. The next company that I wanted to just highlight quickly is Mythic. Mythic is at the forefront of neuromorphic computing. They are using analog compute techniques and bringing it together uh, with their approach to make AI and machine learning much, much more efficient. They are focused on low power compute at the edge, and they feel they have an approach that will be leading the industry in terms of performance per watt. And um, their ideas are really breakthrough, and um, we are really fortunate to be working with them. When we talk about precision healthcare, um, we have made another investment in that area. Um, Omnitier is a company that is focused on that. Their CEO is here with us, Hemant, uh, today. And Omnitier is focused on really uh, making the whole software and hardware stack very efficient when it comes to um, genome sequencing. Uh, I spoke about 125 gigabytes of data earlier today. Uh, if you do a lot of oversampling to get super accurate data, you heard earlier today, terabytes of data can be generated for each individual. And I mentioned a world record of 19 and a half hours to sequence the genome and Omnitier fields. Uh, strongly that they have a technology that can get that down to three or four hours. So a lot of um, amazing uh, set of uh, innovations in the pipeline uh, from this company. And you heard earlier from uh, Rene from Volocopter, uh, we work with a lot of companies in the transportation segment, and uh, he will be here on stage as well shortly. Uh, this is a company that has had many firsts uh, in 2011, they were the first company to have a, uh, a multi-copter uh, take flight. And as he mentioned today, uh, they're also the first company to receive uh, regulatory approval to start doing uh, manned flights over a mega city. And so uh, between what they're doing in Singapore and Dubai, we are already starting to see that the promise of air taxis may be here faster than fully autonomous cars are here. And imagine being able to go 25, 30 miles across a super dense um, city, uh, which ordinarily could easily take an hour or more in a lot of these mega cities, and to be able to do that within just 15 minutes, and no different than the price of a taxi ride. I mean, that's the promise 
that Volocopter has, and um, super exciting. I mean, I can't wait for this to be brought to the Bay Area, by the way. We need to find a way to do that somehow. This traffic is going crazy here.